Exodus chapter 32, Moses is on Mount Sinai, receiving a word from the Lord, receiving the law from the Lord to give to the people. And the people, well, listen to what scripture says, Exodus chapter 32, verse one. It says, now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said, make us gods that shall go before us. As for this Moses, this man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what has become of him. Now, here's kind of the catchphrase of chapter 32 of Exodus. Moses delayed the people's trade. And this is what happens sometimes. Here's Moses hearing from God, receiving for the people. And they, well, where's Moses? He's been gone for 40 days. And they get anxious. They think, well, he's not coming back. And here we are out here in the wilderness without a leader, without a God, so to speak. And so they go to Aaron and they begin to worship, manufacture, create a false God. And I think one of the key probably lessons from this chapter, which is an amazing chapter, is that sometimes when you wait upon the Lord, you can think the Lord doesn't care, that he's forgotten about you, that he's, you know, not interested in what you're interested in. And if not careful, the delay, like those in chapter 32, can cause you to stray. For instance, God, I'm single and you're not sending anybody and I'm praying and I'm looking for this special person. And you decide, well, God's not gonna send and you find someone yourself. And it might not be, the, maybe not even a believer. Maybe, oh, well, there, oh, God's not hearing. Or you can go out on your own to make your own way and do your own thing and say, well, God wasn't listening, so who needs him? I'll do my own thing. When God delays, sometimes people stray. And you can see it in so many different ways. That's the story of Exodus chapter 32. They began worshiping a false god because it took time for God to speak and for God to send Moses back down the mountain. Now, let me read a verse that talks about waiting on the Lord. See, waiting on the Lord doesn't mean inactivity that you just sit around. What it does mean, however, is waiting on the Lord, being obedient to the Lord, and making sure you realize He has your best interest in heart. His timing is not always our timing. Listen to this Psalm. Chapter 27, verse 14, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. And then the psalmist says it again, wait, I say, on the Lord. That was the mistake in chapter 32, unwilling to wait on the Lord. Don't let it be your mistake.